What's going on, everybody? Today, whew, I know I, I know I say this say this a lot, but today I got another exclusive, and as you can see, I got the ZTE Nubia Red Magic Three. Now, the naming of the company for this phone is uh, pretty confusing. The phone is called the Red Magic Three. But Red Magic is also the company. But Red Magic is a gaming, a mobile gaming subsidy of Nubia. <laughs> and Nubia, in terms, is, is a sub-brain of ZTE. Kind of like what Honor is to Huawei. Um, now, I'd have to really go back to previous Nubia phones to see if they're cheaper than ZTE or if they're more expensive. Because Honors, as you know, are cheaper than Huawei's. And a few years back, I thought Nubia was ZTE's premium brand, so to speak. Which Honor is not for Huawei. Huawei is the premium brand. Um, and, and and I could be wrong about Nubia. Uh, Nubia, you know, could be a cheaper brand, you know, than ZTE, but, you know, your ZTE devices are already pretty freaking compelling. Um, a lot of people's favorite device, you know, kind of goes without saying, you know, came out, what, you know, uh, man, three years ago now, the Axon 7, and, um, you know, uh, if, if, if you're looking... If you're looking for a new single screen Axon 7 or Axon, you know, successor, however you want to say it. Um, and I say single screen because the M, you know, is, is actually a fantastic device if you're if you're wanting a dual screen. But um, uh, but as far as as far as ZTE devices officially sold in the US. If you're looking for a successor to the Axon 7, look no more. The Red Magic 3 is is it it's it. It's it. Um Red Magic Mars came out back in February. I actually had one on order. They kind of botched it with the pre-order, so I just canceled it, called it a day. Um it was already outdated. Of course, it was Beating everything under the sun via benchmarks, though. It was even beating, uh, you know, the Mate 20 Pro and the Mate 20X uh, with the Kirin 980s, which were 7 nanometer chipsets. Because keep in mind, the Snapdragon 855 wasn't out yet. The 845 was still the latest and greatest from Qualcomm. And uh, it was a 10 nanometer. And, um, of course, the Kirin 980 was beating it, you know, as far as the, 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 the OnePlus 6T went. Um, you know, your, your, your Galaxy Note 9, even, even your Asus ROG phone, which was not only a gaming phone of its own, but it even had a speed-binded version of the Snapdragon, uh, 845. The only phone in existence, to my knowledge, that had that speed, that speed-bind version, it was clocked at 2.96 gigs instead of 2.8 gigs. Um, but, um... But, um, but nonetheless, um, you know, $400, I mean, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. And honestly, it's still not bad. I mean, if they dropped the price by like just 50 bucks, I mean, I would still say it's a pretty freaking compelling device. I mean, even at 400, it, it still is because it's still rocking the benchmarks. I mean, you know, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Red Magic Mars was rocking the same speed binded snapdragon 845 that the rock phone has and you know nubia just never really you know really talked about it bragged about it announced it have you want to say it etc you know um but i mean it was even confirmed that they weren't cheating in benchmarks either uh the phone was just highly optimized and the red magic 3 here is no different i'm using the one plus seven pro to record this i watched jay will's video the other day uh that his one plus seven pro was a catch and release Honestly, with the Red Magic 3 and the Zenfone 6, and even a lot of the rave reviews about the regular OnePlus 7, which unfortunately isn't coming out in the U.S., I have to agree with him. 
I have to agree with him. And I'm a huge OnePlus fan. But the OnePlus 7 Pro for me is also a catch and release. Um, it is. It is. Um, I mean, um, I don't know what to say. I don't even know, really know where to start. A lot of people are raving about the Zenfone 6. Um, you know, similar specs as the Red Magic 3 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, it's only 500 bucks though. And it has the flip camera as opposed to the elevated camera and the starting price of $670 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Both of which are 6 gig models. 6 gigs of RAM. Um, and, you know, the Red Magic 3... Even against the $500 Zenfone 6 is a very compelling product. This phone features a lot of what makes the OnePlus 7 Pro better than the Zenfone 6. But at the same time, it keeps certain things that make the Zenfone 6 better than the OnePlus 7 Pro. So really, the Red Magic 3 is best of both worlds. I mean, it is, it's, I mean let's start with the elephant in the room. Price tag. Four hundred and eighty dollars. Four hundred and eighty dollars. Here, let me show you the specs. Check that out. Snapdragon eight fifty five. The touch sensitive shoulder triggers. It has the RGB strip like the um, like the uh, like the Razer phones. Dual front speakers. Yes, dual front speakers like the Axon seven. Forty haptic vibration. That game space. Don't sleep on it. I just got done testing it out. It's pretty sweet. Um, 5,000 milliamp battery, just like the Zenfone 6. The OnePlus 7 Pro, 4,000 milliamp. Or it might even be below that. It might even be 37 to 3,800 milliamp. I can't remember right now. So uh, y'all go ahead and correct me in the comments. Don't be afraid to. But uh, it's nowhere close to 5,000 milliamps. Um... Same size screen almost as the OnePlus 7 Pro. You know, the Zenfone 6 is rocking a 6.4 inch. The OnePlus 7 Pro rocks a uh, 6.67. It's commonly rounded to 6.7 inches. This phone is rocking a 6.65 inch display, which is still which is still going to be rounded up to 6.7. Now, of course, it does have the old school bezels top and bottom. There's no notch. No elevated camera, no water drop, teardrop, whatever you want to call it. Um, the sides, as most phones, it does have the uh, the 18 by 9 aspect. The uh, the sides are the, the bezels are very 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 minimalistic. With this wallpaper, you can't even notice it. But it's not curved, which is one thing I hate about the OnePlus 7 Pro. Again, I agree with Jay Will. I'm not big on the curve. Um. That's why I like the Galaxy S10e better than the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus, and even the Galaxy S10 5G. I don't like the edge. Um, that's why I, you know, opted for the Mate 20 instead of the Mate 20 Pro. I would have gotten the X, but it wasn't out yet back last year, back in November. Uh, that's why I'd also gotten a P30 and not the P30 Pro. Uh, you know, also from Huawei. Um, now, yeah, I am I am a fan of the um, of the uh, the uh, the bezelless uh, design, the all screen design. I am I am, uh, but look at that top bezel. The top bezel on this phone, top and bottom, are are very small, and the pic and this camera does it no freaking justice. It's very minimalistic. I I, I promise you. I mean, really, that's just enough grip to hold it in landscape mode to gain. Which is why Nubia doesn't opt for the uh, for the notches, you know. You you because because I agree. I am a big. I do consider myself somewhat of a big mobile gamer. I don't have your consoles, and I rarely game on my PC. And I got a pretty nice little laptop, you know. That it's not a gaming machine, but it can handle any game you throw at it. And I'm constantly upgrading my laptops as well. Um, that's one of the reasons why I keep a Windows laptop and not a Chromebook. At least not until uh, Astradia comes out from Google. Then you know, then I may you know stick to a Chromebook full time, because you know the gaming will all be will, will all be done through streaming. And of course, I I, I am big on the five G revolution. Um, I do rely on four G LTE as it is as my home internet, uh, which actually is already pretty decent when it comes to streaming. Um, but uh, 
Um, let's see. I think I was finished with the specs. I know I keep, but um, I'm not meaning to do that. <laughs> and another cool feature is that high efficiency cooling fan. Don't sleep on that. But let's get back to the price and specs right quick. Okay. Zenfone 6. Again, 500, but 6 gigs of RAM. OnePlus 7 Pro starts at 670, but with 6 gigs of RAM. This phone, 480 USD, United States dollar, 480, 479 to be exact, but we'll just say 480. And that's with 8 gigs of RAM. 8 gigs of RAM, not 6, 8. Um, 120 gigs internal. Um, I think the Zenfone 6 with 6 gigs of RAM also has 128 gigs of internal storage. The, uh, the 6 gig option for the OnePlus 7 Pro is also 128 gigs internal. Um, I actually have the 8 gig OnePlus 7 Pro with the 256 gigs internal. Um, Zenfone 6 does have the, uh, the expandable storage, which I do like. I know it supposedly makes the phone a tad bit slower, but oh well. Speaking about slower... Uh, you know, Zenfone 6 and, of course, this right here, the Red Magic 3, don't have the UFS 3.0 standard. They still have the 2.1 standard. So, the file system, internal data, speed, read, write, whatever, uh, is it going to be as fast um, or on par with the OnePlus 7 Pro? But, I mean, then again, you pay for that because you're paying $170. you are not paying $500. you are not paying $480. So, you do expect certain things to be better for, you know, a couple hundred dollars more. But is it worth a couple hundred dollars more just for that one feature? Okay. Um, all three phones have the same main all-new Sony flagship uh, rear camera module. Um, it's the 48 megapixel. Not the Samsung one, but the Sony one. Um, and... Um, this phone right here, a lot of people didn't think it would do well because ZTE Nubia doesn't exactly excel with their camera software. I haven't quite tested it myself, but, um, you know, software aside, the hardware is definitely there. It's just a single lens, uh, as you can see, but it is but it is the it is the same main sensor as the OnePlus 7 Pro and the, uh, the Zenfone 6. It's the, the new Sony 48 megapixel. Um, and, uh, I've already seen some reviews, um, of the camera samples for this phone. And, uh, very, very underrated. Every single review video that I've already watched, because this phone's been out in China for about a, about a month now. And I've watched a lot of their reviews and unboxings. Every single reviewer that I watched came away extremely surprised by how good that camera sensor did. Extremely surprised. You know, the OnePlus 7 Pro scored 111 on Dexomark, but, or DxOMark, how do you say it? But user reviews aren't so impressed. The Zenfone 6 is scoring extremely high. The highest score is actually for selfie samples. But that's because the flip camera, you're using your rear camera, your rear camera is also your selfie camera, which is really cool, actually. I, I like that. Um, um, so, I mean, that's been scoring pretty good, and, and user reviews have actually been also really decent about that. So, that's actually coming coming away to act to, to really being the sleeper. But, see, here's the big difference, though. Here's the big difference. This phone, while it's not Quad HD, it's AMOLED and has a 90 hertz refresh rate, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro. Again, it's just not Quad HD. That's it. But, with Full HD, there's benefits. Better battery life. And this also has a battery that's a thousand milliamps larger. So again, even better battery life. It's AMOLED, so it's going to have the advantage with the blacks, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, and again, did I already mention it's 90 hertz, just like the uh, the Aces Rock phone, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro. I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, for comparison, the Red Magic Mars. Uh, did not feature a 90 hertz display, and it was only LCD. Now, of course, LCD has a technology of actually having a refresh rate of 120 hertz, as seen by the Razer Phone and Razer Phone 2. Why didn't Nubia do that with the Red Magic Mars when they could have? I don't know. But uh, even the uh, even the new uh, Black Shark, um, um, the Black Shark 2, 
I think. It's the one that Snapdragon 855 powered as well, the latest and greatest uh, uh, from Qualcomm. It's the, the Black Shark, the latest Black Shark from Xiaomi. Um, it is AMOLED, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't think it features a 90 hertz refresh rate. But I, again, I could be wrong. Comment in the section, or, or you know, um, um, you know, leave me a comment in the section to correct me if I'm wrong. But but even then, it's not officially sold in the U.S. and it also costs more than this phone. I mean, I mean, why would you, why would you not get this over that? Even if it does have a 90 hertz refresh rate like this, why would you not get this over that? And I mean, I like Xiaomi as much as the next person, but this, but but the Nubia right here is officially available in the U.S. with the U.S. warranty. Um, um, they're aggressive with the pricing. I mean, it, it's cheaper. And, um, you know, something that a lot of people are going to really like about this device, like, of course, your OnePluses have always used stock Android. But even 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 Asus moved over to a stockish Android for the Zenfone 6. Well, Nubia did as well, because this is, this is very stockish, to say the least. Very little customizations. Of course, it, it, it has to have, it has to have, um, it has the app for the uh, for the RGB lights on the back of the phone, of course. Um, of course, I got my apps on here now as well. But um, and of course, here's your here's your sensors right here. And um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 cool. It, it it's 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 awesome, honestly. I mean, I, I think it's just phenomenal. Um, let's see here. Let me go like that. Let y'all see the post the the pulsating. Uh, Red Magic logo right there. And uh, let me see if I can get the other one to work right there. Here. I think I have to. There we go. Watch this here. Of course, you can go into the game mode to see that, but I don't know. Ah. Yeah, see, check that out. That's nice. Um, of course, I, I, I turn it off, but I do have it on. I do have it on whenever I'm uh, in the in the gaming mode. And we'll go into that really quick here. And, um, let's see, let's see. Really nice sound effects, too. Really nice. And you can hear the fan running now, too. Let's see if I can... There's a lot of your settings there. Trying to see if I can focus on it here. You have your 4D haptic. Um, let's see. Yeah, that turns it off here. Oh well, I had a had a thing. There it is. There it is. So you got intelligent adjustment and you got rapid cooling. slows it down and then of course that turns it off let's see if I can get that on camera there see if, see if you can hear it there or not but it's so sweet y'all it's the coolest thing though I think that is awesome I really do And of course, it has some really nice effects when we turn it on, kind of like what OnePlus, kind of like what the OnePlus Seven Pro's uh, wallpapers do. Um, fingerprint sensor. Uh, it is a a physical rear mounted one. It is uh, almost in the shape of the Red Magic logo, like that diamond, and it works extremely fast. I mean, it's super fast. And one thing. That I haven't seen anybody discuss in a video. Which is really weird. I didn't think it had it, but it does. Um, it has um, facial recognition, and it works very well. Very well. It, it's fast. It's, it's a, almost as fast as the as, as the OnePlus 6T was. Definitely faster than the OnePlus 7 Pro by a couple of spot by, by like maybe a half a second, but that's because on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you have to wait for the elevated camera. But, um... I mean, man, dual speakers, I haven't really tested those out, but I've read reviews that they work really good. 
I'm not entirely sure about the spec on the front facing camera, but I've heard good things about it too. Um, and man, another thing I gotta say about this phone. Yes, it is true. It's oddly shaped. It has little grips, you know, so it feels comfortable when you're holding it for gaming. And and, and they nailed that. It it feels fantastic. There's one of your there's your left uh, air trigger. And your right one. Um. Another um, vent. Uh, power button and volume rocker. And of course, that's the switch I use to go into the game mode. Pretty freaking sweet. Oh. Um. Your um, your SIM slot. It is dual slim. Uh, it is the dual SIM. Uh, there's a connector for the dock that's supposed to be coming out for this phone, so you can play it on your uh, on your TV with ease without having to mirror it or or, or whatever. Kind of like what Aces did with the Rock phone. Um. Um, USB Type C, and um, something that a lot of people be excited about is your three point. Five millimeter headphone jack. It's there. Um, but back to the shape. It is ergonomically shaped for your hands while gaming. It is. They 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 nailed that. The grips are on point. But don't listen to some of the videos that that they a lot of the videos they they make a big deal about the shape like it's big or something and it's really not. I mean this doesn't really do it any justice. But this phone for what it is for what it packs, the shape of it. 5,000 milliamp battery. This thing is thin. It really is. It's surprisingly thin. I mean, I've, I've came away extremely impressed with this phone. I really have. Um, just to kind of give you a view of the stuff in the box. There's a sleeve. I was able to slide it off without tearing it. I, I try to do that with all my phones. USB Type-C, your red, you know, red cable. Uh, the charging brick that comes with the phone is 18 watt. But this phone is supposed to be capable of 30 watt charging, I think. Or was it 27? Again, get on those comments there and let me know. Be easy on me. <laughs> I um, have so many different devices that I review that I go over. I don't even make videos for everything. So, you know, I do get a little mixed up. Send me check the tool, your books, your stickers. Um, But man, I I'm really digging this. I'm uh, super excited for this phone. Super excited. Couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video, man. I, if y'all you know, got some questions, hit me up. I'm kind of behind on uh, other videos. I've been really busy. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. Uh, I haven't even... Speaking about Nubia, I still have the Nubia Alpha uh, smartwatch, smartphone uh, hybrid. The one that has the bendable OLED display. You know, like your Galaxy Fold and Mate X, you know, but it's a, but it's in the, but it's in the form of, 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 of a, of a wearable, the Nubia Alpha. Look it up. I have one. I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it or doing a video for it. But um, I hope y'all really like this video. I couldn't wait to bring it to y'all. Peace. Oh wait, one more thing. For anybody asks, yes, I, I definitely see this being a better buy than, than not only the. Not only the OnePlus 7 Pro, but even the regular OnePlus 7. And I even see it being a better buy than the Zenfone 6. It's $20 less than the Zenfone 6. It has two more gigs of RAM, 8 versus 6. Zenfone 6 still has an LCD screen like its predecessor. This switched to OLED with this generation for the Red Magic 3. The Mars had LCD, but the 3 is AMOLED. And it's 90 hertz. You know, it has a 5,000 milliamp battery like the Zenfone 6. Um, has the same rear camera lens as, as as that, the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. It doesn't have the triple lens setup like the like the 7 Pro. It doesn't have the dual lens setup like the 7 and the Zenfone 6. It's a single lens. But you know what? Even Motorola went that route with the new Moto Z4, which I also hope to get maybe... And that has the same exact setup as this phone. It's a single Sony 48 megapixel sensor in the back. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, it has stockish Android, which is, you know, Asus also went there with their device, you know, which of course OnePlus has been doing. Um, yeah, Snapdragon 855. It, I mean, I mean, there, there's just, 
you know, dual front-facing stereo speakers. They face you, um, just like the Axon 7. Um, you know, I mean, the, this, the, the cooling fan is so awesome on this thing. It's so cool. It sounds like a freaking gaming laptop or gaming rig, whatever you want to say. It. It's sweet. Um, yeah, the, this phone is, there's, there's nothing touching it. There's really not. I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd get the Zenfone 6 over this for the flip camera's capabilities because the 16 megapixel Sony becomes your front face, becomes your selfie camera as well. And that flipping, that flipping mechanism is so cool on those two. Um, but it's gotten rave reviews for selfies. Which, you know, obviously you could see why. Uh, you know, if this phone flipped its rear sensor for your selfie, you'd, you'd probably get the same selfies out of it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is the same lens after all. But yeah, ZTE is back. This phone is awesome. Don't wait on the Axon 10 Pro. I mean, that shouldn't even be a question. If that comes out, it's going to be more than this. Unless they release the 5G Axon 10 Pro here in the U.S. Because there are plans to release the Axon 10 Pro here. But I don't know about the 5G model. Um, you know, unless they release the 5G model... I wouldn't even consider the Axon 10 Pro over this phone. I mean, the same brand, same chipset, same RAM, same everything. You're just getting a better deal with this phone right here. Because even the Axon 10 is still going to cost about five or five fifty USD, if I had to guess. Um, you know, I mean, this phone is what's up. I mean, don't get the OnePlus 7 Pro. Get this seriously. I mean, I, I can't stress that enough. Nubia did this. They they did that. ZTE, Red Magic, whatever freaking brand you want to call it. The Red Magic 3 is what's up. Peace.